All right, well, we're on spot number two of the day, I guess. Starting this video out kind of halfway through our little uh, day of fishing and these wildfires that are going on, wherever they're going on, somewhere north and west of where we are, are just unbelievable. It's just like hazy out all day long. Um, but anyways, we are back with another video and uh, you can tell we are probably not around my hometown anymore. We are up here in Mille Lacs Lake in uh, Minnesota and they just had a season closure on walleyes and then reopened the season. Um, don't ask me why, it just that's what they did. But um, obviously phenomenal walleye lake and I've actually been fishing for about an hour so far, or a couple hours, and I can tell you this, have I caught some fish? Yes, I've caught some fish, um, but it, you, it's never a good day when you're catching a fish on lead core and then you catch one on a hyper rattle and then you catch one on a spinner rig and then you catch one on a slip bobber and you can't get another fish to bite on any of those you know four presentations in a short amount of period of time but i think i've kind of landed on something that's seeming to be more productive than the other four things i've done so far um, and that is kind of a bizarre presentation but that is drop shotting for walleyes and that is what we are going to do today we're going to be drop shotting some live bait and it seems like for whatever reason uh, you know, you think about the way a drop shot fishes and you drop it down to the bottom, your bait is a set distance off the bottom of the lake and, you know, it, it just kind of sits there, right? Um, you'd think that would be basically identical to fishing a slip bobber or, or, you know, some other presentations. And walleye fishing often comes down to how you present a certain bait to fish. You know, on a good day, you could probably come out here and lindy rig a leech, you could probably come out here and slip bobber a leech, and you could probably come out here and put a leech on a slip or a spinner rig and catch a fish. Today it seems like you need to interact with those fish much more. And what I mean by that is stare at them on the graph, watch how they go up and down based on what you're doing. Drop it down to them, pull it away from them, and really kind of finesse those fish into biting. And drop shotting seems to give me the ability to do that. And this is not something that I have done um, a t for a ton of time. So that's kind of what we're gonna do today. And basically we'll go all into our rig and everything like that and what we're doing. Um, we're out here on the mud flats on Mille Lacs today, which are just kind of a known good spot. And I can tell you this, the problem today is not finding fish. They're all right on the lip at 25 feet, right where they just, you know, right where they should be, I guess. Um, but this is kind of the presentation right here. We're taking a leech and we're hooking it right through the sucker like that. And uh, that's how we're going to go after these walleyes. So stay tuned. We're going to fire up the big motor, drive around, go into drop shot and walleyes. Kind of a bizarre way to fish, but hopefully we will catch some fish and hopefully it will be effective. So stay tuned. We're going to start driving around, running a little 2D and uh, down imaging on the hummingbird. And uh, hopefully we'll see some fish and hopefully we'll catch some fish. So stay tuned. Let's get it going on. Going down. 25 feet here. We are on the bottom. That is one nice part about this technique is you get down very quickly. Oh, one's rising up. I don't know. Right there. Fish on. <laughs> First drop of the afternoon here. I do not got a real small finesse hook on here. Feels like decent fish though. I am not expecting to get one on every single drop as they have just been kind of finicky for as good as you think it'd be. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice fish. I'm just gonna scoop them up because I got such a small little octopus hook on here. When things are finicky, kind of downsizing everything can be helpful. There we go. Black walleye number one on that drop shot and leech. And uh, that is about as basic of a principle as you can get right there. Hook, weight, live bait. Sometimes when fishing's tough, it's back to the basics. And there we go. There's a nice number one. Let's let that guy go. About a 20 incher right there. Let's get another one. That was cool. Drop down. Watched him kind of come up on the graph, and the rod just loaded up. Too simple. All right, drop number two here. He actually followed my weight down. Now he's kind of coming up for the leech here. coming up and chasing it. He's just not uh, eating it. There 
right there. <laughs> There's number two. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot so you guys can see this here. Kind of see my interaction with them. <laughs> Just a little guy, but man, that is so much fun to watch on the graph. And we always get YouTube comments like, oh, you know, it makes it look too easy. It's too easy with the electronics, right? Well, does it probably make it easier than just coming out here and looking at the shoreline in the middle of Mille Lacs and saying that looks like a good spot? Yeah, it does. But it also adds just another element of fun, in my opinion. Whenever I can watch fish interact on the graph, it is just an absolute blast. And I think we might have finally found, landed on that technique today that's going to catch a bunch of fish as we've now made two drops and caught two fish but I'll throw that screenshot up again right here so I'll kind of highlight this area and this is kind of me when I first dropped and the fish kind of interacting with the bait and then you can see right here where these that fish kind of got serious and came up and actually bit so we need a new leech on and uh, let's drop down again and it's an absolute blast fishing them on this really light action just a seven foot light um, light action rod and just kind of load it up and they're on with the small of a hook as I'm fishing. All right, looking for fish number three here. Just gonna circle back kind of into this flat. A lot of bug life in the water, which I'm sure partially why it's, the fish are kind of acting like they are. There's a, yeah, we're going down on that. I'm just gonna back kind of right up to it here. Like a cluster of about three of them. Look at that right there. <laughs> Just got back to him and there he is. I was looking for my bait on the graph. I saw a line shoot up and my rod loaded up. That is too cool. I am actually amazed. Given the other techniques I've tried today, how well this is working, and I just kind of started doing it. Not a big fish here. He's hooked right on the outside of the mouth. We'll just scoop him up quick. But man, it just, walleyes are one of those fish, and I always think about this. Believe it or not, I used to just musky fish pretty much every day of the entire musky season many years ago, but musky fish, and it's like, there's a lot to it, obviously, but at the same time, you're throwing something at fish where walleye fishing there's just a million different options and different ways to present a bait um, in order to be successful and some days it doesn't matter as much other days very very specific things like being able to interact you know interact and move a bait based on what the fish is doing um, you know given the same live bait presentation I mean you could seems like you could lindy rig you could slip bobber um, or you could drop shot a leech for whatever reason uh, when I started doing this which is not a technique I use very often um, it seems to be far more effective than the other two presentations that are generally used to present a leech. All right, let's talk about the rigging real quick here. How are we rigging up to catch these fish when we're drop shotting? Well, drop shotting is super simple. It's been around for a long time, mostly in the bass world. Um, but uh, the way I am rigging up today, I'm going super light on everything. Whenever a bite's normally tough or it's difficult to get bites, I like to go, I always say, do everything right when the bite is tough and normally you catch fish. And what that means is normally if you run like a 10 or a 12 pound fluorocarbon, go down to like a six, something you know those fish absolutely cannot see, and then tie in a longer lead. So I'm actually running a mainline braid, but I got about two rod lengths of six pound fluorocarbon on this rod uh, before it kind of goes into the braid down at the reel here. And my hook on here, I am running a number six, I believe, octopus hook, or maybe a number four. I'm not really sure off the top of my head, but very small, very finessey, kind of what I would put on a smaller spinner rig. And that's just, you know, to make sure those fish can't see it. It's all very well concealed, looks very, very lifelike in there. If you're trying to run like a really heavy gauge hook, it's gonna kind of mess up the lifey floatiness of that leech when it's down there in their face. So very small hook, um, I'm, then I'm running kind of like a four five foot or a three to four foot kind of tag end now when i started out i had this a lot longer because some of these fish are up off bottom and i wasn't sure um, how i wanted how much kind of line i wanted to have out from my weight to the hook so i kind of just made make shifted a split shot and a weight in there and the only reason i did that is because when i started if i wanted less line between the bottom and my hook i would just slide this split shot up the line like that and then i would have less um, granted it would have a long tag which didn't really seem to matter at all you know those fish can't see it if you want a one foot lead like that 
just slide it up like that. If you want to go longer, you know, slide it back down. So I just kind of did that to try to key in on kind of on how far those fish wanted to eat up off bottom. And it kind of seemed like, you know, three, four feet off bottom with that drop shot was kind of about perfect right there. Now, like I said, my main line was a six pound fluorocarbon. I was running that into two rod lengths um, and then down into the braid, which is just 10 pound braid, Pissy Fun Carbon X2000 on there. If you guys want to pick up this, I can get you some discount code down below. Click on that and get yourself an awesome walleye reel. And then a light action rod. Whenever you're fishing light line, you need to compensate by going to a lighter rod. And this is the Elliott Rod 7 foot light fast. They actually sent me this as a crappie rod to try initially. It's kind of an awesome finesse action walleye rod for a lot of like your real finesse live bait jigging and uh, it works good for this technique as well. And back that drag off. This is not a technique where when you set the hook, you're just going boom, you know, into those fish. Definitely, it does not take much to get that hook to punch into those fish. So just kind of that quick lift and you're gonna have them on. And this is really about as simple as the rig is. This is probably pretty ugly and you guys probably don't like that. So just get a regular drop shot weight um, or it's just some kind of bell sinker and you guys will feel much better about yourselves. But um, if they didn't see the first 100 feet of line or 30 feet of line, they're not gonna see that little tag either. So um, we're gonna get another leech on and do it again. All right, we're dropping down here. It's like a stack of about two or three of them. You should be able to kind of see these ones pretty good. One of you guys has got to eat this thing. One just kind of came up a little bit. there <laughs> fish on <laughs> that just looked too good to not catch one and I can tell you that for whatever reason these Mille Lacs walleyes are not so much like in the weather today as it is uh, a lot of these kind of same size fish but anytime you can take a slow day and turn it into a better day it's always a good thing this one's another just real stocky. You can tell they're eating good out here, real stocky. About 18, 19 incher probably. Everybody will get you off. There we go. Just barely, barely hooked right in the nose. And so far our hookup ratio is 100%, which is always good when you're fishing a technique with the hookup ratio that high. Not a big one right there, but we'll take every one of them. Instead of catching one fish on each presentation I got in the boat, we're actually putting one to, putting something together now. And it could just be a location thing, like somewhere else is better for big fish, which it probably is. But like I said, I've not been out here for super long. This is kind of the first area we're checking out here. Let's get baited back up. Let's do it again. All right, we're going down. This should result in a fish, but we will see. Oh man, this one all over me. Yep, right there. <laughs> He got it. <laughs> oh man, very cool way to fish. I don't think we got a real big one here. Nice walleye though, can't complain about those ones. A lot of this same size fish which I'm in right now, but I'm willing to bet you could probably take this kind of all over out and around the lake and have success on it right now. And man, I don't know if there is a time outside of winter where I have been to this lake and seen fish this finicky. Most time, when it gets slow in my area, I come to Malax to do the fun things, which are like snap jigging, trolling really fast, kind of like the cool stuff. Man, he was not coming off on that little octopus hook, but sometimes you gotta do what the fish want. There we go, another nice uh, kind of 17, 18 inch size there. Catching them, can't complain. Seems like very few of them bite it right away. It's like, uh, it takes a little bit of 
manipulating that thing to kind of get him to shoot up at it. I'm just gonna free fall it and kind of twitch it in place now. Should just be like right in their face. Come on. One of them's got to go out of this school. Yeah, that one's lifting up a little bit now. Here comes another one coming up. Right there, got him. <laughs> oh man, it, it takes a little bit of work to get these things to bite today. But as you can see, we are slowly putting it together and catching some fish. Not a big one here. A lot of these, like I said, same size fish, but they are wily and a lot of fun. Anytime you can kind of come out and learn a new technique is always a good time, in my opinion. Something I basically hardly ever do is drop shot, and uh, especially for walleyes. But it's obviously incredibly effective, and one cool part is the hookup ratio has literally been 100%. So, and all of them have been hooked in the same exact spot, kind of right inside the mouth, right up top. And uh, that's also, a, it's probably a technique you should probably use more when things get really tough. And there we go. Another decent little Mille Lacs walleye right there. On the drop shot, very bizarre technique that I've never used before for walleyes. I'm sure some of you guys have. Obviously very effective. And uh, like I said, anytime you can kind of come out and do something that you're not normally used to doing or get out of your comfort zone is normally when the learning takes place in fishing. If you just fish the same bite and caught 100 fish every day, um, you would probably rarely, rarely ever learn anything, but uh, super cool. All right, well, that is going to wrap it up today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching this one. Just a quick little, I think we filmed for, what's the GoPro say? Hour 15, hour 15 minutes. I think we caught six or seven or eight, a couple smalls that we probably didn't make the video. But uh, yeah, super cool way to fish. And I'm going to get off of this spot, go somewhere else, try to find some bigger fish. Um, for the last uh, several hours of the day here and uh, hopefully we do some catch some bigger fish but i appreciate you guys watching this video um, hopefully we'll be filming another one tomorrow i believe doing something different i don't like repetitive content so i'm not going to come back here and do the same thing um, and i you know we could we could have tried to film a slip bobber today and maybe got that um, but the drop shot was definitely more effective and it definitely came down to how you were in interacting with those fish could you pop a slip bobber and get it to do things yeah but sitting right over those fish watching kind of how they go up and down in the graph based on what you're doing with the rod is in my opinion probably what makes a drop shot more effective some days um, than a slip bobber how you interact with fish or i guess walleye fishing as a whole there's just a million different ways to fish for them you know on this specific spot you could jig a hyper rattle you could throw a rattle bait you could throw a plastic you could control a spinner a crank bait there's just a hundred different ways to catch them so that's kind of the cool part about it and some days it's very very specific seemingly on exactly how they want that same presentation presented to them so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video um stay tuned for more content not sure what we're filming next but uh, that's what we got to go figure out now so i appreciate you guys watching and i uh, will see you next time Thank you.